a lot of people see my baby and they start making comments like what are you feeding this girl this is too much food you are feeding this girl too much can you not just take it easy with feeding this girl but what they don't realize is that this girl they are saying that she is too big she's eating too much and stuff it's only breastfeeding and exclusively adam at that since i put to bed since i gave birth to this girl i have only been breastfeeding her exclusively nothing else added to her diet and guess what she's currently eight months old and she's still exclusively breastfeeding <laughs> somebody said i thought exclusive breastfeeding is supposed to stop at six months and i'm like anyway let's get into it my name is kudalina Nyako, and if you're seeing me for the first time please um, remember to subscribe to this channel and if you find this video interesting and please remember to give me a thumbs up and thank you you can leave your comment for me and support my ministry. Just like my videos. Thank you so much. So, um, ever since I put to bed, I've been exclusively breastfeeding my baby. And this girl, she has been on the bigger end of the weight. Like, when you get, when you see her red book, her red book here in the UK, we use the red book, there's a chart in the red book that we use to monitor the height and weight of the child. And my child has been on the higher in fact she has passed the whole chart this chart is supposed to be on to your five years but she has already passed it and she's just eight months as of the time of making this video she actually passed it before she got eight months and that's because of her weight and when people ordinary people they just see my baby they're like you're feeding her too much you are too much and your baby is this and that and that and i'm like are you working? You know, some people just drop comments, even on my YouTube channel. When you scroll down some of my videos, you see a lot of people saying, too much food, you're feeding her too much, this, that, that, that. My dear, she is just breastfeeding. Only, she doesn't even drink or she, water. She doesn't drink water. I recently started trying to make sure she drinks water. And of course, I can't force feed her. So she's only eating breast milk. That's all. Nothing else. Even when I get to the GP, now, we have been referred to the pediatrician because of her weight. And this same weight is just from breast milk. We have been going to see the GP like almost every month since she clocked, um, since she clocked four months. We were going to see the doctor because of her weight. And the doctor will end up telling me, there's nothing I can do. She's just breastfeeding. I can't tell you not to breastfeed your child. And that is it. Anyway, I'm going to tell you why she's still breastfeeding at eight months. And she's even still looking robust. Hey, <laughs> yeah, she's still looking robust. And people look at me like, "Why are you giving to your child? What are you giving to your child, my dear?" Except you want to give your own child my own breast milk. It is just breast milk I'm giving to my child. <laughs> oh, so, um, let me start from where everything started. After I put to bed, you know, they weigh your baby two weeks, and if the weight is okay, um, they weigh your baby. Um, five days after the baby is born. So during this five days period, the baby is supposed to increase or decrease. So after birth, they will lose weight naturally and then they will gain the weight back. And um, mine lost and gained. So five days after after birth, I think she weighed 3.5, I mean 3.8, I can't remember. But after then, she, has, she was adding one kg every two weeks one kg every two weeks so they said that when they came back to weigh after two weeks they noticed that her weight was beyond what a child of two weeks should be and the health visitor told me that they are going to come back and review her weight after two weeks she came back after two weeks she noticed that her weight increased more than in fact she increased like one point something kg after two weeks later uh -uh she said okay we'll come back after two weeks and ever since then this people have been coming to my house every two weeks until she clocked six months and then they, they started coming monthly they come to my house they visit me monthly to weigh my baby and um the doctor okay they referred us to the gp and the gp was like you're not giving her formula if you were giving her formula you would have said okay maybe you're giving her too much but you are not it's just breast milk and this breast milk has everything that a nutrient that a girl wants, a, I mean, a child needs. So she ignored it and they kept reviewing her. But me, I was even getting worried because her tummy was getting big, big. But we sorted, it, it's not like, big, like her, she was bloated. 
we even had to go and see the doctor because of what the reason is because she was swallowing so much gas because she had tongue tie and stuff like that so we cleared that out but my baby is still taking breast milk when she was below six months i couldn't wait for her to reach six months so i can stop breastfeeding her but i was scared i made it in a video before i was saying that i am scared that my baby is turning six months and i'm going to introduce formula and other food to her because she's already big and if i i was scared if i start introducing other food to her she's going to get bigger so i was really 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 scared and nervous and anxious but then i realized that even from that six months she refused to still eat them right now i'm not bothered i just keep giving her breast milk and like any day i start work you know that you i'm not at home because i can't force feed you and there's nothing else i can do you try to give her any other food i know i know you have your opinion on you should try this and try that trust me i've tried it i even had to go and buy a syringe you know baby silicone syringe for feeding babies i have to go and buy it and if i want her to drink water the way i make her drink water is by using the syringe in the paracetamol uh, pack to give her water because if you try to give it out with bottle she will not take it you give it out with spoon she will not take it so i started using the syringe and the other day i made food for her I tried to use the same syringe to give it her. She refused. <laughs> if you try to get anything she doesn't want in her mouth, she will pour it away. She's so she's that smart. She will. I wish I can describe how she does it. She literally block her mouth. You can't get it in. Even if you manage to bring it in, she makes sure she spits it out. And even when you say, "Okay, you are not going to spit this out," she will vomit it. She will vomit. <laughs> So, I've dropped, I, I've stopped trying. So what I do now is, I make food, I leave it fast. Since she like picking things, I just leave the food in the plate, make um hand food, and let her pick it, put it in her mouth. But she will not do it because it's food. Anyway, so um, this girl, even with her weight, I will see breastfeeding her, and she's still big. And the reason she's still exclusive breastfeeding is because I've come to the agreement, to the realization that um, this girl, some people have suggested that I should just not give her breast for the whole, I shouldn't breastfeed her until she gets hungry. I tried it like twice. I didn't breastfeed her. Oh, I realized that 12 noon, this girl had no eating. Uh -uh. I can't do that i can't starve her because she has refused to take milk i tried to give her milk that day she refused i tried every food in this house she refused and it was 12 noon and the baby that was even before she clocked eight months this baby has no eating I can't keep starving my baby i have to get breastfeed her in fact that day she ended up eating only twice which i feel it, it was extreme for her so i stopped I tried it another day. Anytime you don't give her breast milk, she will not eat anything. And she doesn't even feel hungry. Sometimes I think that kids forget that they should eat. <laughs> and you have to be the one to give them food, actually. So, if you leave her, you realize she will not, she will just keep playing, 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 playing. She will not eat. The only thing to eat is that she keeps sleeping. She play and sleep, play and sleep. So why will I starve my baby? Because I want to satisfy who? Also, the day she manages to drink water, she doesn't take it from me. She takes it from her father. Because if I give it to her, she has a default setting of coming to my boobs when I carry her. So because of that, I either get her dad to give it to her, I get somebody else to give it to her. So if she's comfortably taking breast milk, the reason we introduce food when children clock six months is because breast milk will not be enough for them. But from her weight, my baby weighs up to 13 kg and she's eight months and she's only breastfeeding. And she's already big, so I don't think she's starving. She's not going to go into starvation. So after concluding and looking at all these things, the reason you introduce food is because breast milk is not enough for them. But from the look of things, it seems the breast milk is enough for you. Even though she's not adding with 1 kg every two weeks like she used to. But she's not malnourished. 
she's not lacking any nutrient so why do i have to stop it because i'm trying to make her to eat other things by all means continue with your breastfeeding until i start work when i start work i'm sure she'll be forced to collect food from others when i am not around so i have not had any reason to leave her so i feel she should just continue with her breast milk and also some children they just stop breastfeeding on their own even my husband she just naturally one day stopped breastfeeding that's what his mom said the same thing with me i naturally just stopped breastfeeding so i also believe that one day she will just also stop breastfeeding a lot of kids do that they just stop breastfeeding when they don't want so i am um, that's what i'm hoping that one day she'll just stop but until she stops i won't stop breastfeeding her because she's eight months or because she has passed six months no i only try wake up every day sterilize her bottle i bought a a big sma milk it's finished now she never drank any of them she has not even she didn't even take up to one spoon from it because every day we mix milk she will not drink it we pour it away we mix in the afternoon she will not drink it you pour it away you at some point, we started mixing only at night. We mix every night. She will not drink. We pour it away. There is one still remaining here. She will not drink it. We pour it away. So it's more like I'm wasting food. Me that I made all the baby food recipes that I'm going to be making for this girl. She has a few to eat. It seems when you have ideas on how to make your child eat nutritiously, they will just stop eating. Eh? And this girl is... Anyway, what I'm trying to say is that the reason this girl is not eating any other food and she's still exclusively breastfeeding is because she has refused to eat it. And I can't force feed her. I don't even have the mind to do that. So, until then, she'll keep breastfeeding until I've tried it, everything. Even, they say, add milk, add honey to her milk so that it will be very sweet. I've done it. No way. Add this one. I've added everything you can think of. She doesn't want to take it. She doesn't want to take it. So what I'm planning to do is to buy another type of formula and try and see if she's going to take something. But otherwise, unless she takes it, I can't force feed her. But my and my first prayer is that she will just wake up one day and decide not to suck breast again. Although I won't deny the fact that breastfeeding has actually been easier for me. Like uh -uh, with my lazy self, I'll just wake up. She's hungry. Give her breast. Put her. But since I started trying for her to eat food, I wash and sterilize every day, which is stressful. But I still have to keep doing it because that is one thing I will still keep doing when she starts eating. So, if you still have more suggestions, you can keep it. I'll keep trying. But until then, she has my breasts, she has my boobs, and I will keep breastfeeding her. So, thank you for watching, and I'm going to keep you updated and give you the progress of our trials and everything we're trying and see which one is going to work but until then i remain queen alina and please if you have not subscribed remember to subscribe bye